Once again, the Sooners land in the top six for a top prospect, running back James Peoples. I want to talk about that running back out of San Antonio, Texas, and why Oklahoma has a chance. All that coming up here in about 10 seconds. What's good, everybody? It's your boy Jay here with Unfair Sports, where we take a pensive approach to the sports conversation. Thank y'all for pulling up here on the YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to talk about James Peoples running back out of San Antonio, Texas, and why he thinks Oklahoma has a chance to win his services, especially now that we're in the top six that he announced a couple of days ago. But before we do that, y'all know the drill. Hop in the comments. Let your boy know what you think about James Peoples. Have you checked out some of his film? We'll have some running. You think we got to change? You think DeMarco Murray can make the magic happen? Love to hear your thoughts on the recruiting we're doing for the 24 class. If you're new to the channel, hit that like, subscribe, and the bell notification. We're dropping constant content. We're trying to get back into the groove and go through all the players we're offering and the prospects we have a chance of landing. So you don't want to miss all that content, especially if you love recruiting and news and information. So let's dive right into James Peoples. Let's look at him. Pop him up. Keeping it simple, James is a 5'10", 195-pound running back out of Veterans Memorial High School in San Antonio, Texas. Nice size, like a little stocky, top 150 running back in the country or player in the country in general. He's sitting at about 138th on the consensus. The composite for 24-7 has him at around 76. So, He's a potential for a top 100 player at the end of the cycle with his ability to play. And he's got a lot of love for the Sooners. And so this is his top six he put out on Thursday. We're looking at Ohio State, Oregon, Texas, TCU, Alabama, and Oklahoma. And so if you're in the conversation for a running back for Ohio State, Texas, and Alabama, you're definitely doing some stuff right. So I got to give props to Oregon as well as TCU. They are definitely ending up in conversations now as they are growing their recruiting trail, recruiting trail and coach Venables and coach DeMarco Murray are doing what they're supposed to do to maintain Oklahoma in all of those races. So of course I'm stoked because it never hurts to have a good stable of running backs and Oklahoma is traditionally has a stable of running backs. And so we definitely have um, an edge when it comes to uh, some of the competition out there because we do produce them like the best. And so looking at James here, you know, look at the size of him. I think that he has something that could be long-term special at his size at 5'10", 195. As he bulks up, man, and he maintains speed, ooh, boy, he can be a threat. He ran a uh, 1581 and 110, um, 110 meter hurdles. He does long jump. So he's another track athlete. If you've noticed, this staff is going after players that do multi-sports, especially going after track players. We talked about Sammy Brown recently and he ran track. And that's something that you want if you want to really compete here in the uh, in college football. You want players that got some speed with them and some power. But if you watch this young man run, throwing the film up here for you now, he knows how to hit the hole. He's got great vision. He cuts and he's gone. The best part is, is that folks are struggling to suck him up. He's just outrunning everybody. He hits the hole hard. He knows the cut. That's what we're looking for here at Oklahoma to add to our arsenal. So when you think about the running backs we have today, like Javante Barnes, as well as Gavin Salchuk, who will probably lead the backfield this coming season, especially what they did against Florida State. You're looking for players that are fast. You're looking for players that are strong and that can cut and hit those holes. And it looks like our boy Jace Peoples can do that as well. And DeMarco Murray has a really good track record of getting backs. I mean, like I just mentioned, we had two freshmen that played in that bowl game and both got 100 yards rushing. And so because of that, I can see that continuing. We're going to continuously have backs that's going to go out there and truly produce. On top of that, we still got a stable of other backs that were four stars that are, are ready to pop. And I'm hoping that we get to see them even show out. And if they're good enough, they go out there and run for 1,000 yards on their own. The offense that Levy is going to be producing out there is going to be a little different than we did this season. We'll probably throw for a lot of yards. But we're probably going to run for a hell of a lot more. We're probably going to be a power run offense, kind of similar to a la Michigan, even with the fast pace. If you can rotate running backs in and out and have the right lineman to go in there and keep those runs going, I'm just telling you, man, we're going to put up a lot of points. We're going to eat up a lot of clock, and we're going to keep the other team off the field, which, depending on who you're playing against, is the secret to victory. So, 
That's the videos we got on James People. Do I think Oklahoma has a chance? Let's talk about how the chance that they have. James did an interview recently and talked about all of his top six and what he saw in them. And this is what he said about Oklahoma and why he thinks, why he put them in the top six. And this is this statement here tells me why I think we have a chance. The staff and people at Oklahoma are awesome people. They are big on family and so am I. Coach Venables is on the mission on a mission at OU called Soul Mission that really speaks to me. It's something bigger than football. It's about the players, he says, and pouring into them. Coach Venables and I talk about a lot of things, but they believe I play a big part in being the change at OU and bringing trophies back to the name. So Coach Murray is a special coach. He emphasizes family and how the coaching staff is like family. He has experience in a place I want to get to, and it's always giving me the keys to the puzzle and breaks the game down. What more can you say about this player here? What more can you say about the chances that Oklahoma has in landing him? So do me a favor, hop in the comments, let your boy know, do you see us having a chance with our boy James Peoples? If we can finish in the top three, that is an accomplishment. As long as we're maintaining our name in there and winning the ones that really matter, we got this. And so wait till you see the production next season on the field. That's going to really help the recruiting, especially, like I said, having two running backs run for 100 yards in a bowl game but gets a top 15 defense in the country with Florida State. Kind of a big deal. We did it and expect us to do that more. So let me know what you think. If you're new to the channel, hit that like, subscribe, and the bell notification. Definitely trying to grow here with my Sooner fans. We're adding Colorado fans. So Sooner fans don't be mad. I'm talking Colorado too because, you know, it's an interesting topic. And I'm really wanting to see what they can do in the Pac-12. And um, y'all have a hate for somebody out there anyway, so y'all may as well embrace Colorado too. So thanks for tuning in. Make sure you stick around. These videos here, some more content to watch. Help your boy out.